Hi everyone, welcome to today's live feed. Now, I'm not going to take questions today, I just wanted to give you some information about warmer weather. We seem to be getting lots and lots of emails at the moment from clients who have had a good sleeper suddenly rising early. And they haven't been coming today, but they've been coming over the last sort of week or so. You know, we've had these bursts in Victoria of hot weather. And I think people go into panic mode in hot weather and go, oh my goodness, it's really hot, I'm going to reduce my child's bedding. And we have the early rising and the unsettled babies. I've been having a think about the bedding guide and I think I should be saying this year to try something different. I've always said with the bedding guide to, if the weather gets warmer, to reduce the blanket layers. So on the bedding guide in the charts, it says to reduce the blanket layers if the weather gets warmer, but I've changed my mind. The more I have worked with babies in Australia, the more I have realized that it is the weight of the blankets that the babies like. Now there's been more and more research out there about putting weighted blankets on adults and children with sleep difficulties. Now I would never put a weighted blanket on a baby or toddler, however, there's more and more research out there saying that weighted blankets, as in blankets with maybe sand in them, etc., for adults with sleep problems, help them sleep. So it got me thinking that it is the weight of the blankets that help babies sleep. Now, I often wonder why do the blankets in the Save Our Sleep store work better than the blankets that you buy everywhere else? And I believe it's to do with the bamboo. The bamboo makes a blanket heavier. So if you live somewhere like far north Queensland or some far north WA where it's very, very hot, I would recommend buying the bamboo blanket, not the cellular cotton bamboo, just some bamboo, because you can put less blankets on but get the heavy weight. It's a lot heavier in weight, not in warmth. It's the same warmth, but it's heavier. So I was thinking with the bedding guide, it is the weight of the blankets babies like. So rather than tell you to be reducing your blanket layers, I think this summer we should be reducing the tog of our sleeping bags. So if your baby is in a 2.5 tog sleeping bag with 12 blankets, I'm now saying don't remove the blankets. Let's try and tell me how you go. Log into this live feed in a week or two weeks or three weeks after the next warm bout of weather and tell me if it worked. So remove your 2.5 tog sleeping bag and replace it with a one tog. Or if you currently use a one tog, remove the one tog and replace it with a 0 0.5 tog. Now, if you're looking for a 0 0.5 tog in the older size of two to three and a half years, we do have some sneaky hidden ones in the office for people who are desperate. So we've got them turned off on the website apart from pink, but we do have some in the office spare ones in case anyone is desperate. So contact us by email if you're desperate for a 0 0.5 tog two to three and a half year bag for a boy, because you wouldn't want pink for a boy. Well, some might, but most people don't want pink for a boy. So reduce the tog of your blankets, the tog of your sleeping bag, rather than reduce the blankets is my tip to try this summer. And I'd love to know how you all get on. We've got lots of people who are contacting us in the last few weeks going, my back sleeper has suddenly turned into a side sleeper or suddenly turned into a tummy sleeper. So we are saying, have you reduced the blankets? And they're going, oh yes, oh no, oh yeah, I did, oh I didn't think, yes I did, and then got cold again, I didn't put them back on. So please, please remember how important the bedding guide is. Now remember that we've added a mini crib mattress protector, which can fit, you know, people were finding the cot mattress protector, they didn't like it on some mini crib mattresses, especially if they were a smaller mattress from somewhere else. So remember we've added that to our range. Remember that the mattress protector is a really, really important part of our range. Remember that the mattress can also cause your child to sweat. So we have at the moment got an end of range with our organic mattresses on sale. So you can get one of those if you are having a new baby or if you know someone having a new baby. So anyhow, back to the bedding guide. If this is a very important time of year where babies can get cold and flip to their tummy because we shove the air conditioning on and we reduce the blankets. So remember, let's try and change it this year. Now, and on another note, how did you all go with Halloween? In a minute, I'm going to pop up some photos of us trick-or-treating last night. We had an absolute ball. We had a really good time. See if you can spot Nathan in the background of one of, one of the photos. There's quite a funny photo, which I didn't notice Nathan. Well, I think it's funny. I didn't notice Nathan in it till later. And 
my boys had a ball our street sort of did Halloween for the first time this year and it was so nice like some people go oh, I don't like Halloween it's so American but it's not American it's an Irish tradition and it's about community now you know we went out we live in an estate where most of the houses are three years or less in fact all of the houses would be four years or less in age we didn't know a lot of our neighbours. We met so many neighbours last night when we were out walking around trick-or-treating. It's such a nice community thing to do. So hopefully other people did. And if you went trick-or-treating, can you please pop your photos up of your children dressed for Halloween? My boys would love to see it. So please pop that up. And remember what I was saying about bedding guide, blankets, this time of year. Please remember to reduce the tog instead of reducing the blankets and see if the weight helps your child sleep or not. Thank you for listening. Bye.